1 by 3 into 3 that cancels out this becomes 1 minus 40 plus 30 now we scan the expression again we don't have a bracket we don't have a division we don't have a multiplication we do have additions so we will do the additions first now 4 does not have any sign in front of it that means automatically we will assume that there is a plus sign here so do the additions first add this and this so this becomes 34 minus 1 minus 40 next we scan it again we don't have brackets we don't have division we don't have multiplication we don't have addition we have subtractions I can do any of these subtractions first I can do 34 minus 40 first or 34 minus 1 first so we'll do the first subtraction 34 minus 1 this becomes 33 minus 40 and finally 33 minus 40 gives us minus 7 so when we have an expression that contains addition subtraction multiplication division we use the board mass rule we keep on scanning the equation or the expression from left to right and keep on simplifying according to the priority given in this rule now having learned the board mass rule and the basic operations that we do in algebra now we will try to solve a few questions i have written down three questions let's take them one at a while the first one is what is the integer just greater than 8.5 now if you draw the numbers on the number line so on and so forth 8.5 is between 8 and 9 so the integer that is that is just greater than 8.5 is 9 the sense right so <clears throat> I hope this is clear now the next question is if minus 2 is less than x is less than 2 how many values can x have now minus 2 minus 1 0 1 2 now some of you might be thinking that since it is less than 2 and since it is less than 2 and greater than minus 2 in between there are three values but this answer is wrong now the idea is nobody told you that x is an integer nobody told you that x is an integer that means from minus 2 to plus 2 all the values that you have on the number line all the points that you have on the number line are solutions to this that means the number of uh, number of values that x can have is actually infinite it can have infinite values between minus 2 to plus 2 because between any two numbers there are infinitely infinite real numbers present there between 1 and 2 how many numbers are present infinite number of numbers are present so similarly from minus 2 to plus 2 if x lies between minus 2 and plus 2 it can have infinite values not 3 values minus 1 0 and 1 the next one is a simplification we'll use the bot mass rule so first we'll simplify the bracket we'll first simplify the bracket so 9 minus root 25 is 5 root 16 is 4 plus 2 whole square so now we again concentrate on the bracket in the bracket apply bot mass rule and you see there is no division no multiplication but we do have additions so first do the additions that means 5 has a plus here it has no sign that means we'll be assuming that it has a plus sign 5 and 2 when we add them we do the addition this gives us 7 7 minus 4 whole square now what is left in the bracket is just 3 and we remove the bracket we have the value of the bracket 3 square and we simplify it to 9 minus 9 which gives us the answer as 0 